What is up, everybody? Welcome back to our Chicago Bears franchise. And we just suffered our first loss of the season, 27 to three to the Minnesota Vikings, but we still got a one game lead in the NFC North. We're going up against the four and one Carolina Panthers. This could be a preview of the NFC championship game because they are also a formidable opponent with Christian McCaffrey. It's going to be interesting to see who their quarterback is. And we'll look at that here in a second, but we do have a breakout running back. Uh, let's see who that's got. To, it's got to be Herbert, right? Yeah, Khalil Herbert. And this would get him up to, would it be a superstar? I feel like for some reason, Herbert is already a star development trait. And it says he needs 100 yards rushing. So we definitely can do that. Another thing, before we even go any further, let's look at Herbert's uh, contract. Because something that I've thought about is maybe potentially trading him for maybe some draft picks this upcoming year or maybe another player. Since he's doing good, go ahead and use him to kind of gain some draft picks. Because we already signed David Montgomery to a long term deal yeah herbert still has two more years left on his contract so he definitely could be somebody that we could resign now we also have ebner there that i think is also a very good backup running back and i think that would be a smart move for us to do maybe in the offseason or until we can be sure that david montgomery is going to stick out for the rest of the season because with a 4-1 record i don't want to switch things up too much uh here early now we can also have some upgrades some players but let's go ahead and do this weekly strategy and i'm not really scared of anybody throwing the ball which there we go. I was going to say we needed a look, but Colin Coleman or Carolina is the quarterback. So they decided to not go with Matt Corral. It says to finish short pass. He's completing or his passer rating is 100.4. But I think what we got to worry about is obviously Christian McCaffrey. They run it 47% of the time. They do pass it more. Christian McCaffrey is going to be involved in that run game. So I think if we can just worry about shutting him down and make them one dimensional where they're only going to pass it against a rookie quarterback, you got to feel like we should be able to stack up well against that. And it looks like running inside or out outside is Christian McCaffrey's having the same amount of success but let's not let Christian McCaffrey get to the outside and out in space so we're going to defend the outside part of the run I think we're still good in fatigue and then on offense is saying that we need to counter the blitz Brian Burns Frankie Louvu Shaq Thompson they've got a lot of uh good weapons and blitzing 34 but they play a lot of zone coverage as well but with us trying to get Herbert at least 100 yards rushing I think that's at least what we focus on the first half not too much success running the ball against Carolina I mean blitz countering can also help a a little bit with running as well picking up so let's let's just stick with blitz counter i feel like that both that can help out in both the running and passing somehow we lost an extra focus player am i wrong in thinking that i thought we had eight maybe we didn't i feel like i'm going crazy with that let me know in the comment i'm pretty sure we had eight or i'm sorry six but now it's saying we don't have i, I don't know that's that's kind of weird can we rush for over 200 yards let's go ahead and try it so nobody gets hurt we do have a few people to upgrade i imagine one of these is going to be oh leighton vanderish so he gets an upgrade we weren't no, we were able to get him an upgrade point in field general, but he is now a superstar development trade. So he's going to develop pretty nicely. And he does have an ability, which we're going to continue to keep at run stopper for the time being. And then uh, Jack Sandburn, really not too worried about what he gets upgraded on. 65 overall is really not too important in my eyes. I also wanted to just let y'all know, I did move Kendall Vildor to our starting, I guess, our second string corner at least until mike hughes returns in my opinion he's proved since hughes has been out to be a little bit better kyla gordon really hasn't shown a lot now we still have kyla gordon going to be he's going to still be our nickel which is what we had before but we're going to let kendall valdor again go against the number one number two wide receivers for carolina which would either be robert robbie anderson or dj moore see how he stacks up if he still has a good uh game then that means whenever mike hughes comes back we're gonna put valdor in at our nickel and uh, see how he does there because Kyle Gordon just really hasn't been, you know, that good for us right now. And I want to reward players who show up and do good in this playthrough, just like in real life. So we are going up against the Carolina Panthers, maybe an NFC championship preview here at home against the Panthers. We're going to be focusing on the run, trying to get Herbert 100 yards in the ground. Let's get it started. So not as nasty as it has been for the Chicago Bears. I think the last two games both have been kind of nasty, rainy, windy games. So we get some nice fair weather going up against the rookie quarterback, Colin, for the Carolina Panthers, also led by Christian McCaffrey. And Brian Burns on that defense can Justin Fields, who's been a little bit shaky the last few weeks without David Montgomery. Can he get the Bears back? on the winning track here today at home. Let's find out. So here comes the rookie, Colin Coleman. Eight touchdowns, four interceptions, and as has these Carolina Panthers, four and one. Hey, I've been telling everybody that. I'm a big Carolina Panther fan. 
we need a, we need a new coach and a new quarterback got some talent on that offensive uh side of the ball and defensive for carolina panthers this is not going to be an easy task for chicago with going up against a rookie quarterback you might think it'd be easy but with the talent around him to make it a little bit tough also supposedly improved offensive line by carolina let's see what they'll do today going up against christian mccaffrey and this offense first play of the drive we saw that last week where we blitz they use that wheel route by the running back and we've got roughing the passer's going to add on 15 and this is not the start that's blake cashman who's been showing out for the chicago bears the last few weeks but it's not the start that the bears want to first play and they're already like 70 yards down the field inside the red zone coleman under center he snaps it looking to find somebody off to the left and that's dj moore who picks up about five so this says that matt corral's in what so did coleman get hurt on that roughing the passer as matt corral finds robbie anderson for a first down note matt corral is three for three colin coleman has a complete pcl tear when did that happen i don't know what's going on i'm i'm supposing i don't know why it's told us that colin coleman was in the game weekly strategy said he was healthy well no one never mind matt corral with the play action gets stopped behind the line marcus good for a sack and a loss of eight that is going to make this a second goal ball on the 10 and matt corral apologies not colin coleman looking to try to get the panthers on the board with a touchdown here snapped pressure in his face but he's able to get it to robbie anderson with another completion so third and goal we're going to blitz again i don't know how this is going to work we got dj moore on a linebacker if they pass it it's probably going to be a touchdown to him and look look at that touchdown dj moore we read it we knew it panthers are up seven to nothing here in soldier field all right so now we get to see justin fields after a quick burst of plays for the carolina panthers just fields four touchdowns 13 interceptions I, we were doing so good but the last few games been rough without david montgomery and remember our focus this game is to get Khalil herbert 100 yards so we're gonna do that and then he will move up i'm pretty sure he's a move up to superstar i feel like he's already a star running back we'll just have to see as he gets his first carry of the game for a gain of two so we're gonna run it here on third down and four i feel confident that we can that we can get the first down here snap there we go herbert with a nice carry he already has 20 yards and we are a fifth of the way there chicago's game plan this week was to run it early and often our goal is to try to get 200 yards on the ground and ebner with a run this will time for a gain of 14 and that's why i kind of want to focus on maybe trading khalil herbert while we can for some draft capital because we've got a running back in ebner who can run it just as well when we talk about covering for david montgomery in his absence we got a first down and 10 ball on the 42 we're going to read action or rpo this one again and herbert picks up another 10 make that 11 ball on the 31. oh over the middle cole Komet open xavier woods on the tackle and we're moving the ball both offenses here early today no trouble pushing the ball down the field we're in the red zone now ball on the 20. actually it kind of looks like it's almost let's say it's on the 19 and a half yard line as we get tackled go down i'm not sure who that is it must be some player the panthers drafted this past season Schobert. so second down and six can mccall harbin beat this guy to the outside and he does touchdown chicago so christian mccaffrey 432 yards on the ground and we saw him have like a 70 yard catch on the last drive so we see christian mccaffrey's first rushing attempt of the game i do believe for a gain of two who had last week 91 yards on the ground one touchdown he has over 430 yards on the ground for the season and he already has like a 65 70 yard catch in this game and chicago talked about all week that's the guy they're going to try to stop they think if they shut him down they can shut down both the running and passing attack in carolina second down and eight and that's thrown over the middle to tommy tremble so here we got third down and five for matt corral trying to take back the lead here halfway through the first quarter snap he's looking over the middle and throws it deep to Rashard Higgins wide open Matt Corral seven for seven for 98 yards 
That was Jameson Crowder. I, I apologize. Captain for the Carolina Panthers, Matt Corral, or I mean Matt Rule clapping. Excited to see his offense continue their ways here in this game. Four and one on the season, looking to try to get to five and one today. So cool, oh, Christian McCaffrey running it up the middle for a gain of 12. And now ball on the 25, first and 10, almost in the red zone. But the Panthers looking to pass it again. Oh, we could have had an interception. Two tackles missed. And DJ Moore carries that to the Ford. Matt Corral, nine for nine, 129 yards. And uh, a little risky throw there. Van Der Esch couldn't get back over and make the stop. And then he dives and misses the tackle. So now first and goal for Carolina on the Chicago four. Things not looking too good for the Chicago Bears defense here early. Cause that's gonna be ran to the outside. We game plan for that. We get the stop, but not before Christian McCaffrey picks up three. We're gonna play a little, prevent the outside. We're gonna give up the middle of the field here. If they run it up the middle, this will be a touchdown. And they don't, and it's still a touchdown. Carolina, both teams. No one's been able to get stopped here. It's 14 to seven, Carolina with the lead. So after Brian Burns sack, well, he gets credit with a half a sack. We are third and 15 here, trying to answer back, but getting a lot of opportunities. We're gonna throw this back and it's intercepted. I should never have thrown that. Xavier Woods with a touch, I mean, an interception. That was a terrible throw. I shouldn't have thrown it. I'm probably going to start using the wide receiver just so we get a little bit more diversity in the passes so that they're not always intercepted or either caught maybe we'll get some some pass breakups and stuff like that on offense and help me limit my interceptions but over the middle robbie anderson man they are moving the ball on us pretty well matt crowd 10 for 10 no problems backup quarterback second year out of Ole miss i mean he's got no problems moving the ball here and that's going to be fed to christian mccaffrey there's a fumble and we pick it up who is that? Bill Door. Forrest Lamb is hurt for Carolina offensive lineman, but luckily we get one back there <laughs> and we needed that. We needed that. So one turnover a piece by each team. Ball in the 38 after a reception to McCole Hardman. We've got Herbert again here with an opportunity to pick up more yards and he's got 44. So only 60, no, I'm sorry, 56 yards away from, he must be going up to a star development trade, but it's gonna help out, make his trade value a little bit better. There we go. Cole Komet catching the first down, his second reception of the game. And I'm just happy that when we throw it, it's not intercepted. Cole Komet again, hitting him in the scene. Justin Fields is now five for six for 65 and gets Chicago in the red zone. Oh, we read that perfectly. Justin Fields runs to the outside, picks up a first down and then Gets forced out of bounds after picking up 13 by Xavier Woods. And we got a first and goal. Another opportunity to throw another touchdown here. If we can get it, maybe Darnell Mooney will be open. There he is. It's caught. Touchdown and tied game. So Carolina, man, they, we see why they are four and one. They're no joke. Ball on the 42 as they look to continue to keep a lead here in this game. Good run blocking. Christian McCaffrey with his best run of the day. And Gets it on the other side of the 42 for Carolina. Now in Chicago Bear territory here in the second quarter. 14-14 game, Matt Corral, Christian McCaffrey. This offense having no problem moving the ball against this defense of Chicago's. That's thrown underneath the McCaffrey and stopped behind the line. Marcus Good with the tackle for a loss. It'd be nice to see him get a chance at a higher development trait as well. Second and four, Matt Corral all by himself here on the 46. Just throwing to McCann. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Robbie Anderson, Jalen Johnson, and Jaquan Brisker not able to make the stop. Man, look at Matt Corral. Just a clean pocket, no pressure, and uh, he's just going to continue to throw strikes. Robbie Anderson, four receptions for 40 yards. Kind of his go to here early in this contest. And Jaquan Brisker with his first tackle of the game. That's ran to the outside for another pickup before. Everything they do is moving forward other than. A few plays. They are really humming. So we got an opportunity here. Pass play for Carolina, third of four. We got Christian McCaffrey trips to the left. We got to be careful of him. He's not sure what he's doing. There he is, wide open, sits down in the zone coverage like a good wide receiver doing, although he is a running back. And uh, that's why he's so tough to beat now. Two receptions, 56 yards. So that reception to start the game was nearly not as long as I was saying it was. And now they're inside the red zone, man. This is scary for this Bears D who's not able to get anything going so there's the first incompletion for matt corral and i think it was just mainly because matt corral and his receiver were not on the same page he threw it a little low 
thinking that receiver was going to break a little quicker than they did so second down and 10 we are blitzing see if we can't get there we don't that crowd third and four jameson crowd and robbie anderson Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore, along with Ian Thomas, who looked like that kind of almost was a fumble. This is a tough team to match up against. There's no slouch. The Carolina Panthers are up 21 to 14 here in the second quarter. Let's look at this. Make sure he didn't fumble that ball. No, he got it across the line. Oh, there we go. I just figured that would hit Calvin Ridley. Catches the pass from Justin Fields, and just like that, we are in Carolina territory. For some reason, I just said a hey, play action on the first play of this drive. 23 reception for Calvin Ridley. I think it might work, and it does. Puts us in good field goal position here as we run straight into Brian Burns. Second down and 10. We'll try this read option again, see if we can't get one of these edge rushers to bite. They don't. We'll hand it off to Herbert. Can he get to the outside away from Xavier Woods? Not quite, but he does get the first down and he has 61 yards for the day. So third down and 11, two minute warning approaching here. I really wanted to hit McCole Hardman here, but that, I think that's too far of a throw for Justin Fields. Maybe Calvin Ridley can get open here on JC Horn here on third down. Can he get that? <sighs> what the fuck is that? I literally have to do this every single time I play this game because it's just continues to be just ridiculous look at this throw the ball he's not even looking he just turns around look at this and i'm hitting triangle by the way to try aggressively catch it you can see calvin really tries to come back but just stops on a dime and intercepts it and doesn't even know the ball's coming watch this in real time what the thing that pisses me off the most about this is that the only passes that you can complete are ones where your wide receiver is wide open like you're not going to com complete one-on-one -on -one, if they're within the vicinity they're locked down covered you're not going to catch that majority of the time and it's just so frustrating so cheesy it's so it's so lazy by ea that's what it is they didn't want to actually make the game smarter and difficult they just wanted to make it harder and cheesier because they're lazy. Look at that, completed right over the middle. Tommy Tremble with a, that's the second tight end reception for a touchdown today that Matt Corral has thrown. And just like that, 28 to 14 Carolina with the lead here. We still have an opportunity. I think we'll also get the game, get the ball to start the half. So it's an important drive for us to go down and try to get us some points. No, we fumble. No, all right, to start the third quarter, we fumble the ball. Frankie Louvu picks it up on special teams. It kind of looked like we were down. It just felt like that. I couldn't really see. We'll see right here on this play. It is a booth review. Usually this means that we're going to get the ball back. And it is overturned. Ooh, okay, that could have been really bad. So we do get the ball on the 40. No, I'm sorry, the 29. So we get to start this drive on the 29. We'll dump this out to... Cole Komet, who runs backwards for some reason. And we're going to try to pass this again. Down by down by 14. Chicago doesn't want to get too far behind because we have not been able to stop Carolina all game long. And Brian Burns is just destroying our offensive line, man. The, he is getting to us quick. The fourth sack of the game already for Carolina here in the third quarter. How why did I throw that? Xavier Woods again with an interception. I'm so... <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Third down and 10. If we can stop them here, I think this will be the first time we've stopped Carolina's defense all game other than the fumble by Christian McCaffrey. Probably going to throw it underneath. Back foot throws it. And it was caught. Carolina, I swear to God, if this is caught, I might, I might end the video here. yeah there's a completion to calvin really for a first down so i mean we're we're hitting on you just cannot make a mistake on all madden which is kind of infuriating because that means you have to be perfect well actually two of them were definitely my fault <laughs> and we just don't have any time brian birds is just breathing down our neck every single time we hike the ball man he is just he is honest just look at this Breaks. Look at that. <laughs> you just don't. You don't have time. He's just way too fast. Oh man. 
you know Bill Door on DJ Moore hasn't been an issue really it's it's been our linebackers it's been Robbie Anderson going up against Jalen Johnson Bill Door really hasn't been too bad our linebackers going up against these tight ends and slot guys it's just been brutal to say the least look at there Brisker nowhere near the wide receiver we're playing man oh it's a fumble we'll take that pick it up it's looking bad there because they were getting to kick a field goal and be up by four scores that, that could have been really bad it's the second turnover that we have forced from carolina both have been fumbles we've thrown three interceptions so been five turnovers in this game a lot of sacks herbert 29 yards away from getting that 100 yards for the day that would be pretty much the only bright spot in this game so far for us we're gonna continue to try to let him eat here as he picks up there's 10 oh nice throw that's what we want justin fields calvin ridley they got a connection today and that's a nice game ball to the 49 calvin ridley's third reception for 58 yards i doubt cole Komet's getting open here man that pocket the, the the panthers defensive line today Derek brown and brian burns they, they might have seven sacks between them it's been i mean seriously it has been brutal there it is again just can't get away so third down and 10 here in the fourth quarter i think we almost have we have to go for it i don't say almost we definitely have to go for it here now i think McCole Hartman can beat Dante Jackson and he does and somehow he pulls him back from getting the touchdown are you kidding me is that Xavier Woods again oh my god I know that interception was was on me I read that late I should if I'd have read it quicker as a touchdown I read it late it gave Xavier Woods time to get in front of it my passing is just god awful that's all there is to it Not only did the um did we fumble it, but Carolina's, I don't know, whatever that is, they he froze. So they could have had a they could have had a uh, touchdown here. But he freezes. That's actually quite impressive. All right, guys, so we do lose 49 to 21. I, just in case you thought we were going to come back from that. Uh Matt Corral, four touchdowns, 72% completion percentage against us. And we didn't even get Khalil Herbert 100 yards rushing. So that was that was the worst that game could have went. You know, we, we couldn't move the ball. We turned it over plenty. Um, we couldn't stop Carolina. We go to 4-2. and two, So now that 4-0 starts starting to look a little bit like an aberration. Khalil Herbert does not get that. That really hurts because that was really hoping to use him for trade value. We still can, but we won't get as much for him. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in that regard. Let's advance the week. Let's see with the Vikings win. They will be a top. Yes, the NFC North. So just like that in a two week change of events, we go from being up top 4-0 to now we're tied for second four and two against the minnesota vikings we've got some work to do we're going up against the new orleans saints with a similar player like christian mccaffrey so we're gonna have to be ready for that one too i'll catch everybody on the next one peace out